Hello everyone, and thanks for tuning in once again. I'm Captain James Flint, and today we're going to cover the long list of kinetic hardpoint experimental effects. Several of these were covered in earlier episodes, as some effects can be applied to a variety of hardpoint categories. But we'll cover them here once more for your convenience. And, as always, you can find the timestamp down in the description below to skip to the effect you're looking for. Let's get to it. A basic and simple to comprehend experimental, Oversides adds a slight damage boost and brings a bit more power draw with it. These effects are factored after modification changes have taken effect, so you'll get even more damage or power draw on mods that already have changes to those stats. Flow Control is another basic mod that has basic changes by simply lowering power draw with no other drawbacks. To be clear, this does not lower distributor draw, only the megajoule requirements from the power plant are affected. This mod is much less beneficial on kinetic card points and will make virtually no difference at all as their power draw is already extremely low. Multi servos, if you remember all the way back to episode 2, I stated that this was one of the only times I actually provide an opinion and recommendation and highly recommended avoiding multi-servos. Well, I recommend avoiding it even more highly on kinetic card points. The power draw and DPS increase are nearly identical to the changes received from the oversize experimental. The problem with multi-servos is how it uses an increased rate of fire to achieve this damage increase. But with the increased fire rate comes increased ammo consumption. This brings oversize to the forefront as the superior choice between the two. Double braced is quite simple and merely adds a small percentage increase to integrity. The percent that's increased is based off the actual integrity after modifications are applied, so you'll get more mileage applying this on top of the sturdy mod and less results when applying it on a lightweight mod. This is a good choice for hull tanks and ships that overheat frequently to allow maximum module survivability. Stripped down is the inverse of double brace. It removes a percentage of mass with more mass removed from heavier modules and less so from lighter and smaller modules. This also applies after modification changes, meaning better mileage on sturdy modules and a much smaller benefit to lightweighted modules. Stripped down is a staple of explorers all across the verse. The lower the mass, the higher the jump range. Every little bit helps. Auto loader is a very helpful effect. Simply reloading rounds continuously anytime the hardpoint isn't at full capacity. While firing constantly with multi cannons or cannons, this will extend the amount of time that you can fire before having to pause for the reload by over double the stock duration, but it will not allow you to fire indefinitely. Smart rounds will prevent you from accidentally shooting a ship that you didn't intend to. Only ships that are targeted the moment the round leaves the chamber can be damaged by hard points with smart rounds. Even if they're hostile, rounds will self-detonate when striking a ship that wasn't targeted when fired. You will be able to see the rounds detonate, and you'll even hear the sound cue for shots connecting with their target, but no damage will be dealt and no ships will turn hostile. This can be very useful for traders, miners, or explorers who find themselves fending off hostiles while security arrives to assist, eliminating any friendly fire risks. Smart rounds is not available on frag cannons. Corrosive shell is one of the most powerful experimental effects when used properly. It comes with a 20% reduction to ammo making it an excellent choice to run on a huge multi-cannon due to its slow fire rate that extends its ammo consumption well beyond large, medium, and small multi-cannons, and its zero spin-up time. But its debuff effect more than makes up for its ammo reserve drawback. Striking a target's hull with a corrosive shell munition has a chance to apply the corrosive debuff. This debuff is not stackable, so there's no need to equip this effect on more than one hardpoint but each consecutive strike has the same chance to reapply the effect, resetting its timeout duration of 5 seconds. While this debuff is active, 
all sources of damage to the target are increased by a massive 25%, including ramming, and all weapons that strike the target are considered to have 20 more points of piercing to their current piercing value. This can make lasers, which are often ineffective against hull due to their low piercing value, much more effective against hull. Corrosive shell is not available on cannons. The incendiary rounds experimental converts your kinetic damaging weapons into thermal damaging weapons, basically creating an ammo consuming laser with travel time to the target but much longer fall off distance. This mod does not increase DPS by any means. In fact, it slightly reduces it due to the fire rate decrease. However, it allows multi cannons and frag cannons to deal much more damage to shields but less damage to hull. This is a great choice if your ship has tight power constraints, since kinetic hardpoints use much less power and distributor draw. Incendiary rounds are not available on cannons. Emissive munitions is exclusive to multi cannons in this category and is an excellent counter to stealth ships that run cold or deploy heat sinks often. Emissive munitions also doubles the thermal load generated by the hardpoint it's applied to which is quite minimal on kinetic card points that have a low thermal load to begin with. Each strike has a chance to apply this debuff that forces their heat signatures to go way up without changing their heat levels. This keeps the target on radar throughout its duration, even when heat sinks are deployed or if they activate silent running. Each strike has a chance to reapply the debuff and reset the timer. And contrary to some rumors out there, this experimental does not aid, counter, or improve the standard gimbal and turret wobble whatsoever. Thermoshock is exclusive to multi-cannons in the kinetic category and is one of the more unique effects. It adds the ability to increase the heat level of the targets struck by these hardpoints. Thermal shock does stack, and the heat increase applied to the target is relative to your distributor draw in the same manner that thermal vent operates, which was covered in episode 2. The effectiveness of this mod relies heavily on the target's loadout and thermal efficiency, not just your own. Even with multiple thermal shock hardpoints, it can be difficult to force a target to overheat in this way. But, if the target is generating high heat on its own by using hardpoints such as railguns or plasma accelerators, it's much more likely to cause heat damage over time. This experimental does not cause problems for NPCs, so this is more suited towards PvP combat. Dispersal Field is exclusive to cannons and is a great effect to bring when you're in a wing. Any ship that is struck by a dispersal field round will have their gimbal and turret targeting disrupted, as if all targetable ships had simultaneously deployed chaff, however for only a 5 second duration. With proper application, this experimental can eliminate the need for a chaff launcher, allowing you to equip other utilities, increasing the defensive properties of your build. Force Shell is one of the most entertaining experimental effects and is only available on cannons. While its biggest drawback is a 17% decrease in velocity, this is a much stronger penalty than it sounds, as it increases the difficulty of connecting shots at even moderate distances. This effect will apply a forced change in trajectory based on the trajectory of the shot fired and the trajectory of the target struck. The velocity change is based on the damage dealt, and works when striking shields or hull alike. The effect stacks if multiple force shell cannons connect in a single volley, adding more velocity to the target. This can be used to accelerate ships well beyond their thruster capabilities, but it can also be counterproductive by increasing the distance between you and your target, or by causing wingmates to miss their shots due to the unexpected changes in their trajectory. It can be used to counter jousting ships that intend to fly past and circle back, keeping them in your field of view for more time on target. It can be somewhat useful in PvP as well, by disrupting players' piloting and targeting abilities, especially with flight assist off and fixed weapons. High Yield Shell is another unique effect exclusive to cannons. While it reduces rate of fire slightly, 
and lowers damage by a hefty penalty, both of those combined reduce your damage output significantly. The benefit to high yield shell comes with the added utility of converting your shell into an explosive after armor has been pierced. This explosion can deal massive damage to internal modules within the blast radius. This can be used to great effect to disable modules without dealing as much damage to hull. Perfect for disabling thrusters when pirating. Thermal Cascade is quite similar to Thermal Shock. It's one of the more unique effects. When striking shields, not hull, of the target, it increases their heat level. Thermal Cascade does stack. However, the effectiveness of this mod relies heavily on the target's loadout and thermal efficiency, not just your own. Even when multiple Thermal Cascade hardpoints are present, it can be difficult to force a target to overheat, especially before their shields go down. But if the target is generating high heat on its own by using hardpoints such as railguns or plasma accelerators, it's much more likely to cause heat damage over time. Unfortunately, this experimental does not cause problems for NPCs, so this is more suited to PvP combat. Thermal Cascade is only available on cannons in this category. Dazzle Shell is exclusive to frag cannons in the kinetic category and works in a similar fashion to emissive munitions, but in reverse. When a target is struck by this effect, their sensor strength and range is depleted for a few seconds decreasing their ability to resolve a target on radar. An unresolved target is that pip on your radar that flickers and jumps around, letting you know something is in that direction, but no lock is attainable. This has no effect against NPCs, but even against players, when you strike a target with any hardpoint, you are automatically resolved, rendering this virtually useless in 1v1 PvP. It can possibly benefit in wing PvP, but, frankly, there are more reliable options to have on your frag cannons. Drag Munitions is pretty straightforward with no negative drawbacks. Drag Munitions applies a debuff to the target, preventing increased acceleration and speed gained from more pips to the engine's capacitor. It replicates the effect of having zero pips for a short time, basically. There is a chance this may change in the future, as it received a buff in the past that was not well received by the community so it was reverted back to its current form once more. The developers did state, however, that they would revisit this in the future, so double check the description below next to this timestamp. I'll put an updated description should this change in the future. And lastly, we have Screening Shell, another frag cannon exclusive. Screening Shell is often overlooked, but one of the more universally beneficial experimental effects available to frag cannons. It allows frags to do tremendous damage to ordnance, making this mod your best option to destroy incoming torpedoes, but it also slashes the reload speed by 50%. Reload times are the biggest downside to frag cannons, so this reduction effectively increases your sustained damage per second by 50%. That's huge! And that's gonna do it for episode 6. Thanks for tuning in once again. Be on the lookout for episodes 7 and 8, which will conclude the Hardpoint Engineering series. If you found anything in this video or any of my other videos helpful or educational, perhaps consider checking out my Patreon. A link can be found in the description below. Feel free to reach out on Twitter at FlintlockENG or leave a comment down below. Until then, keep tinkering, Commanders.